so obviously that that piece does touch on the things we just mentioned it, it discusses how um, mainstream psychology western psychology um, the profession itself is not addressing the grief the despair the frustration the anger the overwhelm all of the things that of course people are generally going to feel uh, when they are just paying attention. <laughs> I mean, you're a part of a culture, you're a part of a society. If you're paying attention to what's happening to our our culture, our society, and our planet in general, um, and you're at all, at least even partially aware of the ways in which it's structured, you're going to feel a lot of things. And you're going to go, maybe if you have access to a, to a psychologist or a therapist that's going to be able to maybe hopefully help you grapple with these things, they're most likely not going to be able to understand what you're experiencing. They're not going to have any of the tools, the language, the the comprehension even, to fit your grief and despair and all those feelings you're having within a Western psychological framework. Um, I, 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 I want to ask, like, from your perspective and what you bring up in your piece, um, why is that the case? And, you know, like, what is your experience with all of that? Yeah, well, I think part of the, the it's multi-layered, right? I mean, I think one thing is we as a species are just ill-equipped for what's happening. Mm -hmm. I really question whether sort of intellectually speaking, we even have the capacity to fully understand and right. more and more, I'm like, no, I don't think so. Like, I, I think humans have a really hard time even understanding what exponential growth is, let right. alone, you know, the uh, trifecta of what's happening um, around ecological, economic, social collapse. Um, so there's that piece that's happening in all fields or all realms of the human species right now. Mm -hmm. But I think specific to psychology, for one, psychology is actually a pretty young field still. It's, it's, it's a juvenile field in a lot of ways. Um, and it was started mostly, I mean, it's more complicated than this, but, you know, Freud is sort of the grandfather of psychology and he's a white man who in a lot of ways was, uh, working for uh the upper class i mean there's sure. uh, you know if you look at the history of it he's actually changed a lot of his findings so that uh it would be he could still get funding and um that has continued i think throughout the field it's been very white male dominated um, as far as leadership in the field. And so it's limited. It's, um, and, and also, as with most things that are affected by neoliberalism, it's incredibly affected by neoliberalism. So there's this real sort of focus on the individual and mm -hmm. individual choices. And there's, so, there's such a lack of analysis around um, power and a systemic analysis and group analysis and you know and and then on top of it it wasn't until i would say the last 10 years that we've developed a real vocabulary in the field around attachment and relationships um and what that means um and so and that's all fairly new um as far as you know a, attachment couples therapy um, really is like the new hot thing. And um, I, I mean, it has roots in um, attachment parenting and Bowlby and all of that, but it like the research around it and everything is, is really new and it's super hyper-focused on couples and or the nuclear family. So there's still a lack of research and vocabulary around communal secure attachment and what that means. Um, and so I think, yeah, there's, there's like these historical roots to it where it's lacking, but also psychology is just colonized, right? So we're really talking about something where I, the layers we, we have to go down to actually get to something healthy are so thick. Right. Um, and it almost seems magical 
in a way, right? Like it seems like we're talking about magic or something when we talk about, you know, the field or the third body that's created when a group gathers or what's right. being dreamt through a group, which is what I'm interested in more and more. 